Hello everyone, my name is Xavier Porterfield. I'm joined here today by Andy Warmer, the CEO of New Change FX. We're very excited. Hi Andy. We're very excited to supply our data to API3. Um, Andy, would you like to tell us a little bit about New Change and our data? Yes, I'd love to. Um, we've been going, um, I think uh, New Change was set up in 2012. Uh, so pretty best part of uh, 10 years, we've been producing data for the foreign exchange markets. Uh, we began um, producing data because we realized there was no objective measurement of the clearing rate for foreign exchange um, that was not a traded rate. So was it absent from uh, trading calculations that meant that uh, it was influenced by trading? So we wanted something that was completely independent that we could use to measure transaction costs in the fiat world. And uh, that's what we've been doing for 12 years. Uh, we sell data to all sorts of market participants, central banks, to banks, to brokers, uh, to asset managers, to corporates, to retail indeed. Um, so we have an enormous uh, variety of clients. And you know that's kind of the background of the story. We do a lot of analysis of transaction costs in the fiat world. And we're now looking at moving into crypto, which is very, very exciting. We also produce a feed um, for some of these cryptocurrencies as well, don't we? We do indeed, yes, yes. And that feed has been... Uh, we've seen good uptake on that feed in the API, the the uh, Web 2.0, I think the chaps at API 3 would like us to call it, uh, world. So it seems that there's a, a lot of users of that um, service. And um, I think that we're now very excited to be moving into this Web, uh, web 3 world of uh, API 3. So what makes um, NCFX data um, special? Well, it's special because we don't offer, we're not off, we're not a bank, we're not a broker. Okay, we're doing the exact same thing that those entities would be doing, but we are not offering trading prices. So we're gathering information about the marketplace, putting it together, putting out a mid rate, and allowing people to do whatever they need to do off the back of that. And we're seeing some really exciting ideas coming out of the um, crypto world on the back of uh, the data we produce, both in crypto data and in fiat. And do you think it's fair to say that the challenges for establishing what a fair rate in crypto are similar to what a fair rate is in foreign exchange? Uh, they're very similar. Um, I mean, it's not a it's not a wildly different uh, challenge. Certainly, from a technolo technological standpoint, it's it's pretty straightforward to uh, make a comparison between the two. Um, we see a lot of. Uh, very different activity in crypto. There's all sorts of things, you know, that, that need to be sort of standardized. And, you know, there's a long way to go on a lot of these things, but it's not wildly different. It's not as different as many people would like to imagine it is. Um, and it's really straightforward to, you know, once you've got independent data, you know, we're not offering crypto prices to anybody. We are simply aggregating up crypto prices and finding a, a fair reflection of the mid. And, you know, once you've got that, you can start to understand uh, that there's clearly a lot of applications for that. And um, what compelled uh, New Change FX to get involved in the API3 project? Well, we're very interested in keeping our name on the data. We, our, the data we produce, as I say, is completely different because we're not involved in brokerage, either in the fiat world or in the crypto world. So our data is completely unique in that it is, we're, we're the only company who's been to all of the expense of setting up essentially a trading platform that doesn't trade. Um, you know, so we want our data, the name on the data to be New Change because New Change represents better quality data than other people are able to produce because they're all involved in trading, whether it's fiat or crypto. We want people to understand that if you want to measure something accurately, then you need to have uh, an independent rate. Uh, we're going back to all of your favorite subjects, Zab, the Heisenberg uncertainty theorem, all, all of these issues of, uh, uh, that, 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 that become obvious if you study in any way the way in which um, the circularity and measurement uh, affects the, the, the quality of that measurement. So, you know, if you're trying to establish as many of the projects we were involved in on the crypto side, you're trying to establish um, a rate on a fair basis, then you have two choices at the moment. You've got the sort of um, web 2.0 version, this kind of idea of consensus truth, if you like, um, which I think the web, uh, the API 3 white paper 
you know, uh, highlights the issue with that, which is that at some point it will be in the interest of um, the, the, the uh, consumers of the rate to, to, to agree on something that isn't true. So, you know, if to us, it's rather than dealing with consensus in that way of, uh, you know, a, a, a number of different views, we, we feel we produce in good quality independent data and that data should be available to users, of, particularly in smart contracts. So that's what we're aiming to do. That's the difference. And that's what we're delivering now. Very good. Andy, thanks very much indeed. My pleasure, Zaf.